I'll show that what topics we need to cover in our service now IT OM side. Okay. So what is the main topics we need to cover in our trainings, right? First of all, introduction about the IT operations management. Next one. Next one is very, very important one because mid servers, mid servers are very important to just use a in a uh, discovery. We can use orchestration. We can use every area. So mid server is nothing but it is a uh, it's a important and as well as without mid servers, we cannot in we cannot do any kind of the data related information in our IT OEM side. OK, so that's why. So mid server orchestration will depend on that. Communications will depend on that configuration and setup. How we can configure the mid servers and everything will discuss and as well as mid server installations we need to discuss and setting IP ranges for mid servers is also mean to discuss and mid server capabilities. What kind of the what the mid servers are right to capable for fetching of a data. So everything will discuss in detail in our service now IT OEM trainings. And mid server clustering also that how we can just cluster it and how we are right to just grouping of the all the mid servers and everything will also will discuss in our mid server clustering. And the next one is a so CMDB. So configuration management using the service now discovery by using the discovery. So what we need to discuss. So we need to discuss about the discovery means and discovery capabilities also we need to discuss and how to uh, use the applications or plugins. So and what the roles we require to get using uh, discovery and any license we requirement anything is there or not we discuss and uh, credential setup credentials is nothing but what kind of the users and passwords are there who are ready to just use this discovery and everything will discuss in detail and uh, discovery schedules will also be there. So discovery schedules means for example, we need to fetch the data is a minute to minute. We need to fetch the, fetch the data hourly basis. We need to fetch the data. Everything will discuss in detail in a discovery schedules and discovery phases will also be there. So in detail, I will discuss scanning or port scanning phases will also be I'll discuss identification probes and sensors will also be discussed and setups and modifications of your probes also we need to discuss and the next one about the sensors. So sensors is nothing but the probes and sensors will also be there. The probes and sensor will finding the data of the health of a particular uh, servers, whatever may be like a IT infrastructure, routers, whatever may be. It can try to identify the health condition of a um, router, servers and IT infrastructure. Simply we can call IT infrastructure and about ECCQ. So external communication channel ECC is nothing but external communication channel. So the data is right to coming from the third party applications that is in a ECC queue only. So it can right to just coming from in a queue. So then only it can, it can try, try to fetch the data. It can enter into our service now side and uh, discovery pattern design are also we need to discuss and after completion of this one dependence views. Okay, how to create and managing the dependence views also we need to discuss. So what are dependency views and the tables and dependency views, properties in dependency views and uh, dependency views map indicators and creating a new map indicator, how to create the new map indicators and how to view dependency views. So how to save or load dependency map views, how to filter a view of dependency view map. These are all dependency view, dependency maps will discuss in detail. Then each and everything is so a point to point while create from the creation to the so uh, resolve. So if any uh, dependency views will be ready to resolve it, we need to just change the dependency views. Everything will be discussed in a dependency views topic. And next one is a cloud management will also be there. So in the cloud management, what we mean the what is the cloud management application and who are providing there? how to integrate there is a different different type of cloud providers like a cloud operations portal uh, configurations also we need to discuss how to create and customize an image permission. So this image permission will be there. I'll show and uh, AWS resources are there and uh, integrating the service catalogs with the cloud providing. So this is very, very important in the cloud management. What does it means? The catalogs are there. The catalogs is nothing but where we are using the so uh, in our service now site, we are using the catalogs. We are trying to create a catalog items also in the catalog items where we are ready to store and how to integrate with the third party applications. Everything will be discussed in a cloud management 
and orchestration also we need to discuss what is orchestration orchestration pro, uh, prerequisites and orchestration workflows will also be discussed and orchestration of a application by using a powershell so the powershell is also one of the application by using the probes also and the discovery of the orchestration and the workflows mainly workflows purpose is nothing but automation so if we are right to use the orchestration is nothing but automating the business so that's the reason so we can use the workflows and everything in your orchestration topic service mapping also we need to map it to the different different type of dependent views like a operation uh, operating services supported by service mapping applications what kind of the applications are supporting the service mapping and uh, business services and service maps will be there or not the mapping the credentials business service population and service mapping traffic based discovery okay and identifying the and fixing the issues with the service maps these are all kind of topics will be right to discuss in a it om training sessions okay so these are the service mapping also we need to discuss and next one is a event management so what is the event management in that so event management is nothing but way we are using the different different type of so uh, automated events for example some something is right to just happen in a particular servers automatically the one event has to generate and the event management team will be there it can right to just maintain that event management okay so service now event management architecture we need to discuss setting and configuring event management event mapping rules and filters what kind of the rules are there for example so i simple uh, area i'll just i say that event what is in a one word i'll say where is the event and where is the for example in a uh, amazon account just like amazon only amazon servers are not giving proper uh, reply like a uh, servers are not uh, responding so servers are down at a time in a midnight servers are all servers are down then how can we know how can we get it so we are in offline so we are not working on that area on the time we are not working on it but so business is running in a 24 hours so servers um, are not sending the data at a time so in a midnight so directly the event management rules we already triggered if anything goes wrong the percentage of a problem will right to rise then automatically it can right to create an event and it can right to fetch the emails it can it can right to just send the emails to each and every one in a uh, team then automatically so not only the midnight not only morning whatever it may be is a offline or online they are right to just communicate with them and they are right to resolve that is a major issue so that is a event management we will discuss in a detail in a event management how the event management will be right to run and any the rules will also be there or not they are right to just filters or there or not everything will be discussed in a event management and create event field mapping so how can we can uh, field maps we can involve in that so event management everything will be discussed in detail in a event management so these are the topics we need to uh, complete in our it om training sessions okay so in this training sessions we need to cover all those things what i just said just now so everything will be ready to discuss in detail so these are the uh, topics we need to discuss